the next nurse my name is Nancy today's topic video is going to be on accreditation and basically we're going to be talking about how important it is to go to a school that is accredited and that's if you care uh, before we do begin, I wanted to like ask you guys questions before I started the video so we could interact with each other down below in the comment section. The question today is, what is your end goal for your nursing career? Like, what type of nurse do you want to be? What do you want to go in a master program, a doctor program? What is it? What's that push? What do you want to do when you get your nursing license? What do you want to do? Like, let me know down below. Anyways guys, let's get on to this topic today of accreditation. So, a lot of people know about accreditation, but they don't think it's important. And which sucks, which it's really important because you will need it if you need to continue education. Meaning that in the long term, say for instance, you want to get your bachelor's of science in nursing. You need to go to a school that is correctly accredited to further your education. If not, then you would have to start over everything. So let's get on to um, what is accreditation. Accreditation is like this ticket to heaven. <laughs> Let me stop playing. So accreditation is basically, it's like a ticket into a football game or concert. If you don't have that ticket, how can you get into the concert? And there's two types of accreditation. There is regional and there is national. Regional are more like your universities, your two-year college degree, your four-year college degree, regional. With regional, they are transferable from regional institutes to other regional institutes. They Sometimes they can even go to national, depends. But regional, you could go from this college to this college, from that college to this college, without starting over in your prerequisites or anything, because their credits transfer over. And examples would be like state colleges, universities, um, community colleges. Those are regionally accredited. Now we have national, which are your for-profit schools, I would say. They're the ones that their tuitions are like freaking $38,000 for a two-year degree. Or was it $48,000? i will get this, that's another story time. But it's 48, like it's like, it's like an arm and a leg to get a two-year degree. And basically, you could get in those schools easier than you can get in um, in the regional ones. And with the national, you don't your credits do not transfer over. Yeah, you can sit for the NCLEX exam, but nine times out of ten, when if you want to become, if you want to go get your bachelor's of nursing or your master's in nursing, you won't be able to do it because your credits did not come from a regional school. And the national schools, they don't offer masters. And I know only some offer bachelor degrees, but it still wouldn't be my choice, my first choice, or at all choice. Reason why is because you're wasting time and you're wasting your money. But, hear me out. If you just want a two year degree, an ADN, Associate's Degree of Nursing, then go with national. If you feel like, hey, I'm never gonna go get my bachelor's, I'm not gonna get a master's, I just wanna do my two years of two years of nursing degree so I can start working and I'm not going back to school at all. Then go for the national school. And if you have that tuition money, like up to $50,000 to get that degree, go for it, be my guess. But if you know that you're going to become a nurse practitioner, um, a nurse educator, a midwife, any of those types of sorts, then you need to be in the regional section. If you're going to get your bachelor's, you need to be in the regional section. If you're going to advance in your career, I highly, 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 highly suggest that you look at regional schools. Now, here's how some schools get you, right? They'll say that they are accredited. And you'll be like, oh, okay, that's cool, they're accredited. But when you go, the number one thing you have to ask, what type of accreditation do you have? If they say national, please run. If you, if you say, if they say national, turn around and leave them.
because that's just a waste of time and waste of money because they could charge you up to $48,000 for a two year degree. When you could get that done at the original college for like six grand, 11 grand. The most I've seen is like 11 grand, flat out for a two year degree, 11 grand, yeah. So, you know, it all depends. Now, with those two type of accreditations, it does go into subcategories as well. Your nursing program has to be accredited by the right people. The two type of people that we have for accreditation is the CCNE, which is the Commission of Collegiate Nursing Education. And we have the ACEN, which is the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing. If your program is accredited within those two, within those two organizations, then it's legit. That is the most known accreditation there is. If they are accredited by those two people, then you know, go for it, okay? Now, I know there's some programs that are um, accredited by these two people, but they charge, but they're for profit, meaning that they're private school. If you could afford it, go for it. If you can't afford it, I honestly don't think, I don't know, if you wanna be in debt, and you want to owe them money or have loans when you graduate that's up to you but sometimes you have to weigh out your options don't hurry up and jump in jump your head in to something if you don't have the money you have to think smart remember college is a business you need to invest your money into something that you know you will get your money back because i've seen it a lot where a lot of people so they'll get a degree in something and they can't find a job and that's not what I'm trying to do here, okay? I don't have the time, I don't have the means to be going left and right trying to figure out what to do with this art degree I got. You know what I'm saying? And, no, and I'm not throwing shade to anybody who's in the art degree section, I'm not. I'm just saying college is a degree, guys. Wake up and smell the flowers because it's real out here. I just wanted to talk to you guys about accreditation also those accreditations I would say are very important if you are going for your um, RN now for LPNs it's a little bit different with LPNs it's not a degree it's more of a certificate and you get your license once you completed the program and with an LPN program you have to make sure that they are approved by the, the, the state of where you're in and the board of nursing the state board of nursing something like that um just gonna make sure that they're approved and that they're, they are legit and that they're not costing you an arm and a leg now here where i'm at in south florida our lpm programs run from three grand up to six grand that's the most i've seen it up to six grand yeah so you gotta make sure you do your research and know what you're getting to now with lpn it's a technical degree you will be going to a vocational school meaning that it's not a degree it's more a certificate vocational students learn a trade and they get certificates at the end of their program so just make sure that the lpn school is legit and that they are organized because you don't want to go to a school where it's like your last semester in a program and then they shut down so you gotta do your reviews and also if you have any if you have a school in mind and you need a review I highly recommend that you guys go to this website called allnurses.com you type in the school and every anybody who wants to put a review on that school you'll see their reviews and dates and like all the pros and cons like it's just a wonderful website and they also have um it's like a discussion forum where you can talk about testing like test tips and schools and deadlines and just so much information on that website form so i highly recommend that you guys check it out and also i was gonna sh i'm going to show you guys um the difference between a for-profit school and a non-profit school when i say for-profit school i'm talking about those who are nationally accredited i'm going to show you guys like if you haven't noticed when you get on their website like their website is more trying to sell you in and then when you get on a regional school when you get on a national school website it's trying to sell you in. it's trying to say con want more information request more information do this do that and then when i go on there when i look for accreditation it's nowhere to be found it's like it's hidden because they know that they're not accredited 
by these two specific accreditations and they're not regionally accredited so they hide that information now if you don't see that information how would you know now with a national i'm sorry now with a regional accreditation it's right there in bold letters like right in your face which that's how you know that they're legit they show you where their accreditation is from when they got accredited and everything's legit so you have to be careful when you guys are signing up for school that you're not trying to put yourself in so much debt that you can't swim out of it. So I just wanted to show you, I'm going to show you guys the differences of um, national and regional accreditation. And I'm not trying to bash these schools that I'm going to show you guys. I'm using them as examples of what's the difference between of a national school and a regional school. Okay. So, um, so this yeah. is going to be a screen recording of my screen. Hi guys, I'm waving at you guys. So we're going to go and... Um, since I live in Florida, I'm going to look for a school in Florida. One is going to be for-profit, and then the other is going to be um, a regular accreditation. So let me start out with um, the regular accreditation. Um, let us go with... Let's go with this college. I'm going to go to their nursing department I'm gonna click on that soon as you get onto their website every information should be you know presented and as you go down their accreditation is already provided and as you can see they are accredited by the ACEN accreditation community and it's just basically it's never hidden. Now let me show you a for-profit accreditation. Um, let us try. For this college is very, you know, similar, familiar around the state, you know. Um, let's try the Fortis one. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so. for accreditation. Let's go there. Okay, so for them, this is usually, let me, okay, so let me go to um, Fortis website.edu. As you get onto it, look how they promptly ask you for your information. Like, compared to this, they don't, they're not selling you here they are basically here they just have their information stating what do you need here's where you could find everything and here's their accreditation you don't have to go and search for them but as soon as you get on Fortis website they start selling you on that they start telling you all the good stuff about Fortis but usually their accreditations are supposed to be like up here and stuff like that and which it is. So you click accreditation. Look, they have accreditation. Again, they're trying to sell me to the school, which, you know, I'm not interested. And let's go to nursing. And if you're looking for credit, right, or vacation schools. See, like, they don't have any accreditation correct accreditation what is the accrediting bureau of health education school that's not nursing accreditation so let us try um this school this is a for profit school as well Like, okay, so we get onto the website again. They're asking me for information, meaning, you know, they want to sell me the school, sell me into the school. Um, now let's go to, let's find accreditation. How about us? Okay. Go to accreditation.
Okay, so now with this school, they are accredited by the ACN. However, this is a for-profit school. So, meaning that a nursing degree here will cost around $20,000. So, like I was mentioning, there are schools that are accredited, but they're for-profit or private. So, you know, there's... um. Nationally accredited. And like I was saying, some regionally accredited colleges do not accept transfers from nationally accredited colleges because national accreditation is associated for for profit and vocation of focus school. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I can show you another regional school. Yes. Uh, nursing. Okay, let's go there. Let's are in to bachelor's, and then you go to admission requirements. So you want to get your bachelor's. You got your RN from Fortis, and associate's degree in nursing from a regionally a credit institution so that is why it's important because schools you know once you get your bachelor's they want you to have your credits to be transferable so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that so enjoy the rest of the video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos they are coming soon i do have lots of videos coming um don't forget to follow me on instagram at the next nurse and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys